Deadly Possessions with the Splendor Yacht and Kevorkian's Deathmobile. The Splendor Yacht is a very infamous yacht. That was the yacht that Natalie Wood, a famous person and actress in general, went missing and died upon. Ron Nelson, the owner of the Splendor Yacht, couldn't actually bring the yacht to Zach's museum, so he brought a few relics. He, he brought a radar, a life preserver, the, the steering wheel, and one more thing. Nat Natalie's body was found by the yacht in near the yacht's dinghy called the Valiant. Ron Nelson, the owner of the Splendor yacht, he bought it at an auction from a doctor. And one night, he was on the, the yacht and he, he heard the phone ring and he was wondering who would be calling him on the phone on this old yacht. So on his way at, at, downstairs to get the phone, when he got down to the bottom of low leg like of the stairs, he tripped and his knee went through the floor. He had to go get 40 stitches and the stitches were in the shape of, the, of a V for the Valiant, which is where Natalie's body was found near. And recently, Ron got the Splendor blessed by a, a priest or somebody. And he said once this person blessed the yacht, the yacht went from being really humid to really like, it, it was like an air conditioner just randomly just got turned on in the whole place. It felt comforting. Dennis D Davern, the, the captain of the Splendor Yacht at the time that Natalie was still alive and on the boat, he said that the reason that Natalie died and went missing is because of a fight between Natalie, her husband, and her boy that is a friend. And apparently the boy that is a friend tried to hit on, on Natalie and Natalie's husband got, 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 got mad and shit went down. And that Dennis actually had some beeswax uh, can, can, candles on the coffee table. And there was two of them. One was lit and one was not. And he said between the time that the fight started and Natalie went missing, the candle that was unlit was this was this tall, and the, and the candle that was lit was around this tall. And Natalie w went missing around 11 p.m. And the next day, did 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 Dennis put out a search warrant for for Natalie because they didn't know if she was dead dead or alive. Then the next morning. Police found her body not too far offshore, in, well, like in the water. And this had to be either someone putting her in the water or she tripped her by accident because his Natalie's sister and Dennis both said that Natalie was afraid of the water and did not know how to swim. So her death certificate says drowning but it got changed soon after to drowning by the unknown lana wood natalie's sis, 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 sister zach asked her has she experienced anything paranormal or weird since natalie passed away and she said yeah one night i woke up and the door that was in front of me, it looked like white mist was coming through the door, but it was moving. It wasn't just like regular mist, it was actually moving. And Lana and, and Natalie's mother even predicted, Natalie's mother predicted Natalie's death because she said that her mother was really superstitious and yeah, superstitious and that she looked at Natalie when she was young and said, there will be fame, 
fortune and money in your future and death by drowning. The Kevorkian Death Mo Mobile. This is one of Zach's personal haunted items. Not it ain't personal to 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 him, but he bought it and it recently got 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 shipped over to his museum. And this van once belonged to Jack Kevorkian, a murderer, and he did his the people that he killed. He did their autopsies in the back of the van, hence the death mobile. And at least, at least three people died and had autopsies in that van. Jeffrey Feiger, Jack's old attorney. He brought, Zach brought Je Je Jeffrey in to interview him and talk about the van and to make sure that this is 100% the Jack Kevorkian death mobile. And what Jeffrey said to Zach was amazing. Jeffrey said that he even knew the name of the first autopsy that Jack did in the back of that van and the body or her name was Janet and that Zach thought that only around 100 of these vans were made, but Jeffrey told Zach that no, over 200 of these vans were made. And before Je Je Jeffrey left, Zach wanted to take him to the van to authorize and confirm that Zach did indeed buy the official Kevorkian death mobile. And as soon as Jeffrey laid his eyes on it coming around the corner, he goes, well, I'll be damned. That's it. Annie St. John, the girl who now lives in Jack's old house. Annie said that one night when she was entering the, the door or opening a, a, a door, like either one, before she actually got to the door, the knob started to shake fast and very viciously. And Annie said that her upstairs na 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 neighbor committed su suicide. Why she, she, she thought that it was because of the leftover residual or evil in energy that Jack K K Kaborski had left behind that made her neighbor want to kill himself. They do a investigation with the van. Annie and the Ghost Adventures crew joined in. They send Annie in by herself with the EVP. She stands outside of the van and goes inside the van. And with the EVP, they don't catch nothing. But Zach had an EMF detector in the back of the van. And right whenever Annie was outside of the van, they they heard a weird moaning sound or growling sound, not caught on, on EVP, just on the camera in general. And right as they caught that growling slash moaning sound, the EMF d d detector inside of the van spiked up to 11 milliamps. And they also caught a unexplained female moan and a loud slam on the camera too after Annie went inside of the van. And in a few minutes, Go, goes by and Zach sends a Aaron Goodwin in with Annie with a spirit box and what they capture sent chills down my spine at the time but right now I just think it's badass including the unexplained female moan that occurred before Aaron went down there they captured with the spirit box after he went down 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 there with Annie they captured the name the name Br 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 Bridget, they captured a voice that said, what do you mean? And another unexplained female voice. That right there is four, four voices that came through all female and all the same voice tone. Your name is Secret?
or how you died, is that a secret? Afraid of something in order to kill himself. Alone, maybe he felt alone, that's why he, he killed